Good day, all. It's uh, Rob here from Integration Kings. Just wanted to go over setting up a beacon um, with Help Scout and the core advantages of it. So, to set up a beacon is if you go to Manage and go to Beacons, you can you'll then come to this page. It's then just a matter of going create a beacon. You'll give the beacon a name, so it could be the Customer Support Beacon, um, and then you can choose which functionality they can have. So document search, and you can actually say which knowledge base they can gain access to, um, and mailbox, and you can say which particular mailbox is it gonna come into. You can also choose the color design um, of your little viewer. So you can actually tailor that within the console here. Um, it's fairly straightforward. Um, and you can change the modes from self-service, where they look up their own articles and, and stuff like that, you can turn that off and just have it to be an inquiry form, um, or you can turn it on with its self-service kiosk. So normally we'd say, just to start with, go for a mail inquiry form, and then hit create the beacon. It will then give you a bit of HTML code, which your web developer does need to embed into the website, um, and then it will basically plonk up as um, a chat box on the website. So it'll look a bit like this. Hit more settings, and it will deploy the beacon. So then once the beacon's set up, um, you can tailor it. So at the moment, we're just showing this beacon only internally. Um, we're not showing it on a website because it hasn't been embedded. It's purely just in Help Scout. So the way the beacon would appear for any web site is that it would just appear as a little voice comma down here. So obviously you can change the name of it. You can choose the particular icon. So you could have text only, you could have the icon and text, you could have manual. Um, so what we'd normally recommend is an icon with text. Um, and then you can choose the particular icon you want to have in display. Um, so that allows the, the customer to be able to know what to do with it. And you can choose which side do you want it on and what's the text name. Uh, you could say customer support. Um, and then when they plonk on this, it'll actually ask a fair few questions and it will come in as it's help, a help scout ticket at the end of the day. Um, you can choose the particular sizing um, and whether you position it left or right. Um, and you can dis display on the plus version, you can display the little logo. So click save on that design. Um, other things you can do is you, you can turn on the ability to um, ask different questions on the, the, the support on the actual contact form. Um, and you can enable chat if you want to. So if you enable chat, it will um, man, you'll have to man a chat area. So normally what we do is recommend just deploying it as a contact form. Um, later on, you can engage on the chat um, and, and, and man that as well. Um, so at the moment, we're just gonna do a contact form, um, show name, subject, show allowed, and show historical security. Um, don't recommend turning that on at this stage. Docs, you can choose which doc sites you have available. Messaging, messaging's an add-on, um, and you can enable messaging, which is like team chat, with chat through the website. Um, the same with the, the translator, at the moment set to English, but you can change that as well. Um, and installation is where you get the little bit of uh, HTML code for your web developer to work with. Um, so please watch the video. Um, if you've got any questions, let us know, but this is how you embed and set up uh, beacon for help scout um, and you can see a bit about what the widget does if you've got any questions let us know thanks guys